Right-wing commentator Gavin McGinnis uh, has some interesting thoughts for us on the issue of gay marriage that I want to share with you. Take a look. If you're totally populist and you allow the people to make decisions, in my opinion, for instance, we got gay marriage wrong as a nation, even though it's got high approval ratings. So what do you do? I mean, like, are there any breaks on this machine? You see what well, I mean? the, le the left tricked us with gay marriage. They tricked me. I was for it. And yeah. I thought it was just about two people who want to get married. And I thought straights aren't very good at being married. Let's let someone else give it a whirl. At least they're trying to normalize themselves and, and assimilate. But it turns out it was just trying to de-justify Catholicism and Christianity in general. Wow. We got duped by liars, by propagandists. But I don't really adhere to conservatism in many ways. Right. I'm a punk rocker. I'm an anarchist. I want minimal government. I don't care. Wait, so gay. you're not pro-gay marriage anymore? No. I love how uh, these guys think they're edgy and cool, <laughs> but he just goes like with the standard opinion of like a 85 year old fundamentalist Christian, like ooh, so edgy, being like incredibly traditional. I'm a punk rocker, you know. I'm like on the outskirts of society and stuff, bro. That's what I am. I'm just a cool punk rocker kind of guy. I'm like an anarchist, really. No, if you're anything, maybe you're an anarcho-capitalist. You know, maybe you're. Uh, that flavor of anarchism, but there's like right and left flavors of anarchism, strains of anarchism, if you will. He's certainly not on the left, but I love, uh, I love this clip for how utterly made up that point is. So I'll come back to that in a second, but I like how the, the guy starts the clip by saying, you know, populism is bad. He's like, yeah, sometimes, you know, you leave it up to the people and these fucking peasants, they, you know, they get it wrong. Oh, the reason gay marriage, I thought it was just treating people equally under the law, giving people, like, human rights and stuff. But it turns out, no. They were just trying to de-justify Christianity and Catholicism. Huh? <laughs> well, they failed pretty badly because it's still, what, 70% of the American people? Maybe 80% of the American people who are Christians? Uh, Catholics are smaller, but they're a subset of Christianity anyway. Um, man, did they do a bad job. And I love how it's not like, hey, maybe that child sex scandal where Catholic priests were boinking little kids and then shift and then sending them from one, um, you know, parish to another, one church to another. Like, hey, maybe that, uh, de-justified Christianity, as he said. It wasn't the child fucking scandal where they had to pay out billions of dollars in damages. That wasn't it, because obviously you can survive that. I mean, what's a little child fucking scandal every now and then? You know what I'm saying? <laughs> Yeah. Um, it wasn't that. It was uh, gay marriage. No, but see, the only way you be you could believe that is if you think, well, religion equals the rule of law. So, like, not only do we have Christianity and Catholicism, but they should be the law. That is the norm. The norm is a theocracy where it's a Christian theocracy. And when secular people fought back and said, hey, no, gay people should have the right to marry, what you're saying is that de-justifies Catholicism and Christianity in the sense that it makes it so that's no longer the rule of law anymore. So in a way, there's an admission there. He's like, yeah, I'm, more, I'm a theocrat. I believe in theocracy. I believe in, you know, bullshit mysticism and religious voodoo being the, the rule of law and the norm and then if you fight back against it and say, hey, we should have a secular nation where everybody gets equal protection under the law, you're the problem. You know, hey, you're doing the wrong thing here. You're doing a bad thing by trying to treat people equally and by giving them human rights. You're just de-justifying Christianity by not letting Christianity dominate you in your everyday life by having it be the rule of law, which forces you to buy into the system because it's a theocracy, so religion rules over everybody. So... You're not, like, these guys, they think they're edgy. You're not edgy. You're just dumbasses.